Everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm wishing everyone a day full of Christ's grace. In order to keep up with the most recent information, we hope you enjoy this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Take a trip with us and watch this film through to the conclusion. The Virgin Mary has given us a profound message in these unique times, one that is full of maternal love and profound care. This urgent warning alerts people to impending difficulties and a time of intense purification, massive natural calamities that cause devastation and misery and present enormous difficulties to humanity are predicted. The Virgin Mary asks us to pay attention to what she says in heaven and to act on it right away by praying fervently and being prepared. There is a dire warning of an impending apocalypse for six countries. This is a time for action and a series of prayers, not for indolence. The events predicted are heavenly warnings urging conversion and a resurgence of religion, not just natural occurrences. We are witnessing the fulfillment of ancient prophecies. Natural catastrophes such as earthquakes and storms are divine reminders to humanity to return to the path of justice, love, and peace. Particularly during these difficult times, the Virgin Mary exhorts us to devote our hearts to her and her Son, Jesus Christ, and calls for an intimate transformation. She tells us that Jesus is with us, a lighthouse in the encroaching darkness, even though the end of the world is imminent. In order to restore faith and hope, the Virgin Mary highlights the importance of intense prayer, fasting, and human solidarity. She consistently prays for us, believing in God's protection and kindness. As light bearers, we must meet the obstacles that lie ahead with firm faith and group prayer. This time of adversity is a divine summons to repentance, conversion, and deep spiritual preparation. Scientists have also cautioned that increased solar activity might cause a worldwide blackout. A situation like this could seriously impair everyday living and communication. Stockpiling necessary supplies, practicing survival skills, and putting our faith in divine protection are all parts of preparation. The Virgin Mary emphasizes the value of both physical and spiritual preparation and exhorts us to join together in prayer and action. It is impossible to overestimate the importance of confessing our faults, growing closer to God, and undergoing personal conversion. In the face of impending catastrophes, we must maintain our faith and behave in accordance with divine law. The Virgin Mary's teachings are a ray of hope and an exhortation to fortitude and solidarity. She encourages us to maintain our faith and unity during these trying times by reassuring us of God's unwavering love and protection as well as her unceasing intercession. The communication from the Virgin Mary starts with a sincere request that we get ready for the difficult circumstances that lie ahead. It is said that these are times of great trial and purification, and that mankind as a whole must act immediately. She cautions that the upcoming natural calamities will cause misery and devastation, therefore it is imperative that we are both physically and spiritually ready. The letter emphasizes that six countries are most vulnerable and could experience a catastrophic occurrence. Action, not indolence, is needed now. In order to ask for heavenly protection and mercy, the Virgin Mary calls for a worldwide chain of prayers. This divine warning emphasizes how old predictions have come to pass, with natural disasters acting as reminders for people to turn back toward the paths of justice, love, and peace. The urge for personal spiritual transformation is central to the message of the Virgin Mary. Especially in these difficult times, she exhorts us to turn to her and her Son, Jesus Christ. There is comfort in knowing that Jesus is still with us, a beacon of light in the dark, even in the face of the predicted end of the world. It is stressed that in order to restore our faith and hope, we must practice ardent prayer, fast, and encourage one another. By putting her faith in God's kindness and protection, the Virgin Mary persistently prays for us. As light bearers, we must meet the obstacles that lie ahead with firm faith and group prayer. 
this time of adversity is a divine summons to repentance, conversion, and deep spiritual preparation. Along with urging spiritual preparedness, the Virgin Mary also warns of a possible worldwide blackout brought on by increased solar activity, a phenomenon that scientists have also seen. A major interruption in communication and everyday life might result from such an occurrence. We are advised to stock necessary supplies, acquire survival skills, and rely on divine protection because preparation is crucial. One of the main themes in the message of the Virgin Mary is the necessity of growing closer to God and undergoing personal conversion. In the face of impending catastrophes, we must maintain our faith and behave in accordance with divine law. It is crucial to confess our sins and work toward a closer relationship with God. The advice of the Virgin Mary is a ray of hope that exhorts fortitude and solidarity. She encourages us to maintain our faith and unity during these trying times by reassuring us of God's unwavering love and protection as well as her unceasing intercession. The message of the Virgin Mary makes it abundantly evident that the natural calamities we will see are not random occurrences but rather divine interventions designed to rouse humanity from its spiritual sluggishness. A heavenly summons for humanity to return to justice and the urgency of the times are reflected in earthquakes, hurricanes, and other disasters. The purpose of these occurrences is to guide us back toward the path of justice, love, and peace. The Virgin Mary asks for a worldwide chain of prayers during these extraordinary times of crisis. Seeking heavenly protection and kindness requires this group's spiritual endeavor. By reminding us that we are not alone, the intercession of the Virgin Mary gives us comfort and hope. Her advice exhorts us to unite in faith and highlights the strength of group prayer and support. The need of deepening our spiritual ties is also emphasized in the message. This entails performing charitable deeds, fasting, and intense prayer. These spiritual exercises help us reaffirm our faith and hope in addition to asking for divine protection. The Virgin Mary's unwavering intercession is evidence of the effectiveness of prayer and the value of establishing a solid spiritual bond. We are reassured by the Virgin Mary of God's unwavering love and protection. She exhorts us to have confidence and believe in God's mercy in spite of the difficulties that lie ahead. Her message is an exhortation to accept divine protection, trusting that God's love and direction will carry us through the difficulties that lie ahead. In summary, the message of the Virgin Mary is a powerful call to action, imploring us to be resilient, pray, and have faith in order to prepare for the challenges that lie ahead. It is a heavenly invitation for unshakable faith, a deeper spiritual connection, and personal conversion. We are reassured by God's unwavering love and protection as well as the Virgin Mary's ongoing intercession as we confront the challenges that lie ahead. By encouraging us to be unified in our faith and unwavering in our desire to get through these trying times, this message acts as a beacon of hope. We appreciate you staying to the very end of the video. What do you think about today's subject? In addition to remembering to subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to get alerts whenever a new video is released, kindly leave a comment below.